been in my old neighborhood. This is uh, the first house Shannon and I got right after I got out of college and started teaching. I can remember writing 21, if I could do it again, the wreckage, the good life, and just a, a ton of songs just in this in this little house when I was out of school. Um, a lot of them I wrote before we had kids, and that's what I did when I came home from school. I sat, sat in here and um, wrote songs. That was our house right there. I recorded undertones in 2002. It was after my first year of teaching, and I went down in July that year to Oxford, Georgia, to a, a studio called Higher Ground Media Group uh, that was ran by a guy named John Johnson, who was just a great guy. I was so nervous going in there because I'd never been in the studio before. Uh, but John made me feel really at ease. You know, I, I played the, the first three or four songs, and you know, each one he would be like, "Oh man, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. That's real good." Uh, he he get, got me feeling confident enough to, to finish it up. Uh, I only had 12 hours to go in there and work, so uh, I had to get it done quick. You know, going in and, and doing stuff with a full band uh, and adding other instruments, that, that wasn't an option. As we're living, we just don't think about our friends moving on, no, no, no. But we're going to miss you now that you're gone. And if you need fun, you know we'll be here when you Almost all the songs on Undertones are, are autobiographical. I was in my, you know, mid late twenties at the time, being nostalgic. You know, I guess I was under so much pressure. You know, leaving college and starting work and paying mortgages and paying taxes and stuff. You know, I, I guess part of me really longed for the, the freedom of youth. So I did a lot of thinking about about being younger. And so a lot of those songs, I think, convey that. There's a song on Undertones called "The Basement." My buddies had a house right here when I got out of high school. We spent a lot of time in his basement, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever, just having fun, being kids. He eventually moved away to Alabama, and all of us were bummed out. Uh, not only was he, he going to be gone, but we weren't going to have a place to hang out. We weren't going to have the basement to hang out anymore, you know. And that was sort of our, our rallying point before we went out, you know, to downtown Athens. The angels cry because they I chose the title Undertones. And the reason I did is uh, there's a song on there called As Angels Cry. And I'd been playing that for all my buddies in, in college. And whenever I'd go to play it, I would say, oh, this song has religious undertones to it. And my buddy Jeff, he, he would always say, hey, Corey, play that religious undertone song. Hey, play that religious undertone song. He never called it As Angels Cry. And then I thought, undertones, that's a good title for an album. There's all these undertones flowing through all the songs. I remember when I left the studio after the first day of recording, I had a CD of just the rough mixes that we had that day, and I put it in my car on the way home, and it just sent chills down my spine because it was the first time I'd ever really heard myself and heard the songs come to life in that way. So with every record, I've, I've tried to just apply what I've learned on all the previous records and, and try to get better at it, and it's always about trying to get that same feeling that I got in the car that day, you know, trying to get the chills. We can never be, never be 